Hola! Surprise! It's me, says Sam or Sam here on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, how are ya? If you are returning, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video is going to be my November favorites! I did my summer favorites, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, I will leave a link down below or I will put it up. I will put it up over here. So, right here in the square. Let's get into it. I do have a couple of favorites, beauty favorites, and then I do have some that aren't beauty favorites. So, the very first thing I want to talk about is a palette that I have been in love with since I bought it. I know this is limited edition, so I don't know if you can pick it up still, but I picked it up right when I saw that it was on sale. This one is by Morphe. I actually placed my first order with Morphe and I bought the 350 palette, which I do like, but I have been grabbing this one out of the three palettes that I did pick up. And this one is by far my favorite. This one is the Little Palette by... I don't remember who it's by, but you can see, like... Um, what's it called? The signature. I don't remember who it is, but I will like link all the information down below. This one is in the color Copper Popper. These two are right here, my favorites. I use this in the crease all the time, and then I use this one to darken it up. This one all over the eyes, and then it just has all of my shimmery shades that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I always gravitate towards this one. This one is by far my favorite, and I've been using it non-stop since I picked it up. I don't know, I feel like the packaging could be a little bit better. But I do love the eyeshadows, I love the formula of it, and I love that they're super pigmented, they're super blendable, and these were like, I think, like $10, under $10, so, I mean, you're getting eight eyeshadows for under $10, that's like a dollar something, probably more than a dollar, I'm not doing math right, but those have been my favorites. The next thing is a brush that I have been in love with. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this brush, but I know that I have been picking this up and every time I don't know where it is, every time I need to blend something, this is the brush that I go for. And I I feel like if I don't have it with me, my makeup, like my eye makeup just doesn't turn out right. So this one is by Royal and Lay Nickel. This is their crease and smudge brush. And I use this one just to buff everything out. Like if I'm doing a dark shade or something like that, I need everything to be blended out, blended in very well. Or this brush is perfect for that. It's super soft, super dense. And then the smudge one I just used for under this part of my under eyes. And it's just amazing. Okay, so the next thing is something that I got in my Sephora Play Box. I'm pretty sure it's the Sephora Play Box. This one is their Clear Brow Gel. You guys know, if you guys have followed me for a very long time, I am in love with the e.l.f. Eyebrow Gel, the clear one. Um, I just, I don't know, I just love it. And then I found this thing. Now I use it all the time and it just does an amazing job of gluing my eyebrows to my face. And I really like this for nights out where I am going to be out for like hours and hours. And this thing is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. So if you want to go ahead and pick that up, I don't know how much it is because I did get this the sample size. I don't know if it's a full size or if it's sample, but I do really like it. The very next thing is, of course I had to mention my favorite lips for this month. This one is also by ColourPop. I have a slight addiction to ColourPop. All of my favorite lips have been ColourPop. Like I think the last couple of months have been something from ColourPop. But this one is what I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. This one is Kiddo and this is their sheer formula. I didn't think I was gonna like their sheer formula, but I love it. Uh it feels so comfortable on the lips. I love how pigmented it is. Like, it's not super, super pigmented, but this one, it it has enough pigment to... Can you see that? Right there. I think that's why I love it so much. And it smells good. And it lasts a very long time. Super moisturizing on the lips. And the pigmentation is amazing. I love how it glides onto the lips. It doesn't make my lips feel dry. And I don't know. It's just... I really like this formula. There's only a couple more things, so... Let's get into it. The next thing is my favorite makeup wipes. Okay, so I don't remember why I picked this up, but I'm really, really glad I did because I have been in love with the Clinique Cleansing Balm for 
I don't know, since I picked it up, I want to say in like four or five months ago. And I have just been using that to take all my makeup off. But then I pick this up for some reason. And I was like, ah, oh, Burt's Bees, let's just pick this up. And I think it's because I was out of town and I just needed something and I ran out of my Clinique one in like the travel size. So I was like, oh, let me just pick this up because it's supposed to be really good. But this one is the Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelette with white tea extract. It comes with 30 moist, moistened towel towelettes, moistened towelettes. That's really, really hard to say. It says it removes dirt, oil, and makeup without rinsing. What I really like about this is that it makes my skin feel hydrated. And it smells really good, too. I just like the way that it smells, too. I think because it reminds me of, like, fruits, and I love teas. So, that's also why. But I... I'm really glad I picked this up. Thank you, Pass Me. The last two items are not beauty related, but I have been in love with them. Um, I have talked about my Kindle. This one is, I think, just a regular Kindle. I think I got it for like 50 bucks. The book that I have been in love with, the book that I've been reading is... I've been rereading Fifty Shades of Grey because the movie comes out in February and I'm just like, yes, girl. And I have been also reading Girl Boss by Sophia... Amoroso. She's the founder of Nasty Gal. So I've been reading her book, Hashtag Girl Boss. So those are my favorites. Favorites. I like how like this guy is like, you know, like when you turn off, it just goes on. And then the last, last thing is one of my favorite fashion accessories or my favorite fashion thing. I don't really mention fashion stuff because I'm pretty basic, but I have been in love with this sweater. It smells like Korean barbecue, so I'm really sad about that. But this is just a green, army green bomber. It's so, so cute. I just love how comfortable it is. And I just, I've just been wearing it all the time. I actually got this for my birthday. My best friend actually got it for me for my birthday. So we have matching bombers. And you guys know that I've been in love with jewel tone colors. I just... That's just my thing because it looks really good on my skin tone. But I've been wearing this non-stop. That is all of my November favorites. Definitely leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorites were for the month of November. Or a new favorite item that you have found to be in love with. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you guys do want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, any of that fun stuff, I will leave all those links down below for you to follow. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! And I'm over here playing around. Do you ever get like super sweaty that you just don't want to do anything? Upload, so it'd be really cool. Anyways, today's video is going to be my 2016 Black Friday haul. I haven't done a Black Friday haul in a very, very long time.